<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Crizzle 9 and today we're gonna actually try to play more of a story-oriented video game. Um, I know that many of my videos are like, you know, random and stuff like this, and but this time we're gonna try to make, be a little more serious and considerate and, you know, try to play a game, experience a story, and make other help have others experience the story by watching this, and that's kind of what I want to do here. So, yeah. Let's fucking around, or getting serious. So, welcome to Crazy Tri Part 1, Crazy Triple Nine plays You, Me, Hell. Alright? Alright. <clears throat> it's dark in here. I can't see a thing. Aha! It's a door over here. I do not remember that we had this door in our basement. Okay. Where... Where does it lead? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> like a corkscrew. Hmm. some graffiti on the wall. Hi, um, where am I? <clears throat> you don't know where you are? How come you are here? And why are you wearing that star dress? Are you a Magican? Are you Manchester or something? Well, I went through a door in my basement and then ended up here somehow. And this is my pajama. These are my pajamas. Not a star dress. If I had known that, I would end up here. If would have been wearing some more normal clothes. This is the entrance to hell. You know the place where people burn and suffer and stuff like that. Hell? Why the hell am I in hell? <laughs> Why the hell am I in hell? <laughs> You said you came through a door in your basement, didn't you? Dot dot dot. I found this wallet, and I'm pretty sure this belongs to Tor. He's my boyfriend, I think, more or less. Now, where are you hiding, Tor? You better tell me because oh, if you don't, that wallet could belong to anyone, not just your boyfriend. Aha! Uh -huh. So he is here! Because he knew he is my boyfriend! Never said that! You actually did say that! 
<laughs> you actually <laughs> did say that. <laughs> Look, maybe he's here. But you cannot just go and see him. Why not? I have legal rights to see him. Just how much you want. How much I want. You know what? He's my property. <laughs> he's my property. Well, true. We value privacy and in 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 integrity. We need to know that you know this guy. But now that I know him, how I'll, how am I supposed to prove that? Well, if you can tell me his eye color and his star sign, then I'll accept that you know him. That's property. Cr that's pretty crappy proof. <laughs> that's so true. That's super crappy proof right there. I'm sure it's easy to find the information about just anyone. Go then, is your boyfriend eye color star sign? Well, of course, I know that. Um, which star signs are there? He's a star penguin? No. Uh, star unicorn, maybe? And he's got blue eyes? No. Brown? No. Green? No. Seriously, are there more eye colors? You do not seem to know him very well. I know him perfectly well! Who cares about stupid eye colors and star signs anyway? You stay here, I will come back, and then I will have this ridiculous info you require. This is top secret. It's a heart with an arrow stuck in it. This must be some kind of perverted torture method. Is this a threat? I swear, I will look up the person who painted this and drive an arrow through his heart. Then you will understand that he's threatening the wrong person. Some crates full of junk. Hey, here are there's something my first voodoo doll kit. Sounds interesting, I'll take this. You obtained your first voodoo kit, okay? What is this, some tar- tar- tarot cards might come handy. I think I'll take these two. You obtained a deck of tarot cards. Tarot. A girl in star dress. This is not a star dress. It is a dress and it got stars on it. And I like dresses with stars on them. And I like your bunny shoes. She's like, what the fuck? Why are you sitting on that shelf? This is the deposition room. People leave stuff here. Do the demons do not allow in hell like dolls? In the shelf. Why are dolls not allowed in hell? Do you really want to know? Yes. Okay. Dolls are made of fabric. And fabric is made of from wool. Wool comes from sheep. And sheep come from hills and cheese. Wait, what? Wait, that's not. Sheep doesn't come from cheese. <laughs> like, the fuck? <laughs> you asked for my explanation. Now, let me explain. Now, where are we? Where were we? Yes, sheep come from hills and cheeses. And cheese is made from farmers who, wear, who are wearing clothes made from wool, which is the same material dolls are made from. And that's why dolls are not allowed in hell. Sad, isn't it? That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense at all. That doesn't explain why dolls are not allowed to in hell. But it does. Let's go through this again. Dolls are made of fabric. Oh, no, no, no. Please, please. I get it. I think. <laughs> can you give me that book of word there? I can. But I think we'll leave if I do. I don't want you to leave. I don't want to be alone. Unless you can find me something that makes me happy. Mm, what kind of stuff makes you happy? Love, happiness, a hug, a kiss. Do you know what kiss means in Swedish? No. 
means doll. It means doll just like me? Yes, now where can I find that crappy love hug stuff? I don't know, I'm just so lonely. Okay, well... Call the position room, solve scanner, scan your stuff, and find out what you can take with you to hell or what you need to leave behind. Here are pieces of paper, it's for you, put your learn, pause is full when black mailing item does not belong in hell. Please leave a mess. Permanent people health reduced for price and increase happiness items do not belong in hell. Please leave in the deposit room. Well, it's his store for me, blah, blah. But it does not. Typically proven to increase happiness. It is the Depot's crook cork. I can't drink the tea if there's a cork in the bottle. Mm, okay, I'll get rid of this cork. Just sit tight and don't get that book to anyone else, okay? Seriously? Well... Do you 
There we go. Let's come around and sing this song. We're all in hell now. So you must have to do something wrong. Play with your own swag, your devil tail. We're all in hell now. I really like this song, to be honest. It will make me happy. Can I, can I have it? You give me that stupid book over there. I guess I wanted to trust you. Thank you, Star Dress Girl. There we go. She's happy now, I think. Thanks to this book, I know everything about star signs and star sign master. Well, very cute. Well, there's nothing okay. Oh, wait, the heck? Damn, Tara, of course, tell me the color of Taurus eyes the ones. Otherwise, I shred you into the little pieces of feet to some power. Mad burning doves with evil bright eyes and dripping razor sharp teeth. Those. Fitting especially those quotation marks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seven him. Swearing. which is very green. and brown it just happens to be a color uh -huh. one brown and one green this must be the case in the cars in your life the best in the dark cars in my life kick your ass Taurus eye color, one brown and one green. That's Taurus eye colors. You see, I know him perfectly well. You got that one correct. At least we have to fool guesses. Taurus sign, by the way. How many guesses do I have? How many guesses? Well, hey, is he? Is he in Aries? What's in Aries, by the way? No, he's not in Aries. Do you really know this guy? It's true. That's all there is any things in this book. I need to try it. Is it Tories? No, no. Jimmy? <laughs> a cancer? Hope not. It sounds unhealthy. No. A Leo? That sounds unhealthy too, but in a different way. No. A Virgo? Yes, you got it. <laughs> this guy is like. This guy is like saying no to like. Like three of them, or four or five of them. Like most of them. It's like, it's like this. Like, like, um, like there's a, like, you know, when you're like going up to the club, and then you also, there's like this guy who's like, I don't know. I don't know, this is just, this is just funny. You really know everything about this guy. <laughs> Virgo, seriously, isn't that some kind of girl? I mean, he has guys, and he, I'll play well, I'll take this thing up with him. <laughs> and if I find out he's fooled me, I'll make him regret that no one makes a fool out of me. No, you seem to be the kind of person who takes care of stuff yourself. Spot on! Hey, wait one second. 
pass your stupid tests. Now let me see Tor. You have passed the test in your own way. But to be really sure that you actually know Tor, you need to answer one last question. If it really is your boyfriend that have you have a special bond, right? Then you can answer my last question. How is he feeling right now? How how am I supposed to know what he's happy? That he's happy, maybe sad, angry. No, towards and never angry. He's thinking maybe. No lazy, torn face. It's only about currency. You guys enjoyed the first episode part one um, we're kind of in a rut here so we don't know what to do for the rest of the game but leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you enjoyed it comment if you want more and subscribe for more content and to be part of the insane wolf pack and i'll see you guys in the next video please take care enjoy have fun have a great have a great day have a great night Whatever. I hope you're having a great time. I love, love, I love you guys. <sighs> Take care now. Bye bye then.